We've had proposals to call off classes at our own college, and I'd rather speak about that rather than SMU. You'll recall I'm not in office yet, and I don't want to second-guess the present administration. I prefer not to call off classes for particular issues of this kind. It's a part of academic freedom, I think. Uh, of course, persons are at liberty to cut classes, I assume, with whatever arrangements are normally made, whatever sanctions normally flow. And I think it would be most unfortunate if additional sanctions were added for cuts <coughs> taken on this kind of thing. But I guess my position might be that when you cancel classes, either in protest of a certain event or in recognition of something like that, it is interpreted, it represents a kind of university stance, and it's awkward for those who don't go along, who are members of the university community and don't share the point of view that has led to this particular protest. It's a ticklish question, and I think there's plenty of room for the expression of even very strong viewpoints without, as I said before, disrupting the education process, and so I much prefer classes to go on. Do you think that a university, as a university, can take a stand on a political issue? No, I don't. What are the reasons for that? Academic freedom. If the university, qua university, takes a stand on a political issue, then uh, those who dissent from that view, they are, there are threats or there are psychological fears and feelings, I think, that those who dissent from that view are somehow out of favor. And this is only a legitimate viewpoint in the context of complete freedom of individuals to express themselves. One of the ticklish questions that arises is, what is where does that leave the president or the chancellor of a great university? who has very strong views of his own and would like to express them. I think some of the students and others who would like to hear university presidents speak up on these issues might be surprised to know how much we would like to speak up on some of them, you know. But when we are asked to do so as the president of the university, there is always that danger that you politicize the academy, that you interfere with the complete openness that we've been talking about. Now it's very difficult for individuals not to form opinions. I have strong opinions on many political issues. And I find that my instinct would be to speak out more openly than my duties probably make wise. 